about the coupe, I'm smashing. Brand new bag, that's fashion. I be fly like a lad. Fuck your bitch with a passion. Big old bag of the gas. And all my niggas, they mashing. Just checked out about the cash. Making players call me mad. I'm about the coupe, I'm smashing. Brand new bag, that's fashion. I be fly like a lad. Fuck your bitch with a passion. Big old bag of the gas. And all my niggas, they mashing. Just checked out about the cash. Making players call me mad. Flash out, if I send them, they gon' crash out. Get it in, then we mash out. Yellow bitch got a bad mouth. At the low, blowing her back out. But they talking with their sack bout. Been alone, I shoot past the crowd. My bad bitch can't trust me now. Call me creeping out the house. I don't know what I'ma do with me. Handful for two women. See the stars shoot past the city. Why the now like been Latin? Ran the play and I passed it. Didn't even ask Madden. Why you doing all that flag? Nigga. Ran the play and I passed it. I took it while I lay ass me. Wanna touch a bill before the casket like my whole spiritual nasty gotta be a little ratchet if it's soft let me grab it you know i get a little nasty no i ain't got no manners cool, i'm smashing brand new bag that's fashion i be fly like a lad fuck your bitch with a passion big old bag of the gas and all my niggas they mashing just checked out about the cash making players call me mad i'm about to cook i'm smashing brand new bag that's fashion i be fly like a lad fuck your bitch with a passion Big old bag of the gas, and all my niggas they mashing. Just checked out about the cash, making players call me mad. Hey, hey, I got the flavor the juice. Put the flip with the cable. I like to give it a boost. They got her toes on the nail dish, and that little pussy too cute. Buy her up and take off. Yeah, they're like a parachute. Every day I gotta pay way for the cash flow to come through. Pump it up some flavor, drop it in the front toe, smoke with some moose. You how with the making moves? Got the players coming by the tool. y'all understand who we got in the building right now we got tony los yes, sir. and capo what how you say is it just capo now bro is it yeah it, it's 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 capo you call me capo it's done capo you know <laughs> you, when you type it in you know done capo yeah, we're yeah. gonna call him see but the, it's been that way you know, yeah so done capo yeah oh he was capo to done you know what i'm saying that was like you know you know, he had nicknames. You know, that, was, that was like the first one. So shit, you know. Yeah. That went back to the original. Okay. Oh, OG Don Capo. You know what I'm talking about? Well, yeah, we done came a long way. I know y'all done came a long way. Yes, sir, man. Hey, yeah, you know man, what I'm we saying? We came a long way, man. Shit, especially, uh, <clears throat> shit, man, talking about recording from on <laughs> voicemails, bro. Man. We used to record. On um, females voicemails, little chicks we used to fuck with and shit. We used to call them, and we, <laughs> we used to call them. Be like, they would, when we call you again, just just hang up, just hang us up. Call them motherfuckers. Don't answer the phone, man. Don't answer the phone. <laughs> MP3 players and shit. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Making disses on each other and shit. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. When you say y'all recording on voicemails. Y'all niggas came from below the bottom, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never heard of nothing like nothing close to that, bro. Damn. <laughs> yeah. For real, bro. Like, yeah, that's you ain't never heard nothing close to that, bro. Yeah. Not the voicemail, bro. Man, so we can officially say started below the bottom. Yeah. Now you here. Yeah. All right. So now look at us, we. Y'all making dope tracks, you know what I'm saying? I, I think sir. that that smashing is undeniable. Yeah. Y'all oh, got definitely. some more undeniables, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I know that now, you know what I'm saying, y'all got more than the fan base of just the chick that's listening to y'all voicemails. Y'all got a bigger fan base now. You got yep. people that's tapping in with you, and even more people tapping in, like, more every day, you know what I'm saying? So 
kudos to you gentlemen for you know what i'm saying holding it down yeah, appreciate and we just going for sure shout out to alb <clears throat> for sure i appreciate that but yeah man we just uh just gonna do a little interview man just so you know y- the people that follow y'all you know can get to know y'all a little better you know behind the music but uh you know i got some questions here we just gonna jump right into it all right so uh number one uh where y'all from like how and uh wherever you're from how the surroundings shaped you know what I'm saying? How y'all create the music and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to start with you, Tony. Like, uh, where you from, bro? Uh, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Oak Cliff, to be exact, Singing Hills. You know what I'm saying? There you go. I'm from the valley side of Singing Hills. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Uh, far as, you know what I'm saying, my environment, bro. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I really just rap about what I be going through, bro. Mm-hmm. The flavor I be kicking too. Like if you know me, bro, and then you hear my lyrics, you know that's that's me. I'm really doing that. I'm really going through it, mm-hmm. uh, or I'm getting to it. I'm about to see it, or I don't already touched it. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. um, just like that. Yeah, I I I say like what I got going on now probably make a big influence on my you know what I'm saying on my music now you know what I'm saying yeah. because uh I got a better understanding <laughs> right now you know what I'm talking yeah. about so I I add my past into it but yeah. I'm doing way more now than what I was doing back then so I you know what I'm talking about as far as like the the influence you know what I'm saying I say my my present and my recent past you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying kind of mold you yeah where kinda, you at right now yeah as far as my music yeah <clears throat> my past mold me as yeah. far as the music yeah recent and you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. okay okay what about as you as, yeah. what about you don capo yeah man you know i'm from uh singing hills you know oak cliff okay yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hillside of you know you gotta, you gotta get pacific you know when it comes yeah. to dallas everything yeah. is different you know so yeah, influence like uh, it comes from a lot from what I seen. You know, singing hills in the holes. You know, it's you know it's like a, one of those neighborhoods. You know, like any other hood. Yeah. We got, we got the you know the rules and you know what you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that that kind of shaped our music and our type. You know, because singing hills kind of player. You know what I'm saying? We kind of you know it's HP. You know, singing here players. A lot of our music got a like low set got a it got flavor to it. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like so. Yeah, that's yeah, real that's though. You know what I'm saying? Like I I can I can definitely see how that you know what I'm saying how just it take a village. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so pretty much you know what I'm saying like y'all y'all saw the things that y'all saw. You know what I'm saying? It kind of it, it molded y'all to what y'all are, but it didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe the downfalls. It didn't just like take over you know what i'm saying what y'all got going on right now y'all was success y'all have been successful with the music yeah. and y'all ain't just allow you know what i'm saying any down com- any you know shortcomings or anything y'all saw to like just really bring y'all down because y'all still here you know what i'm saying y'all still thriving y'all doing great you know what i'm saying I, I i think so as as young black men you know what i'm saying and i think that you know what i'm saying y'all could be you know role models too you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> Kudos to y'all for that too. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, my boy. Yes, sir. It means a lot coming from Al. Yeah, for sure. Al show. B. For sure, show. Sure. All right, so um, I'm going to just go to the next question. Uh, Who are your top three favorite artists of all time, Tony? <sighs> Got to think Shit. about it. <laughs> Out the real man. It gotta be Pimp C. Pimp C. Yeah, man, because I'm a Texas boy, man. Pimp yeah. C, man. That motherfucker. <laughs> hey, bro. So, yeah. Like, a lot of my shit come from him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I took what he did and I flipped it in my own way. Like, my ad lib is why? When I be doing that, why? I got that shit back from, like, Hearing him when, when he used to be like, woo, 
Like he used to be like that on his songs. He'd be like, woo. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, man, I gotta flip that. I, used, I used, you know, what I said he's just a cool ass nigga, bro. Nah, far for as real. music, you know what I'm saying. Pimp C was like, hella talented, like yeah, Pimp C, yeah, man, he's definitely one of them. He's up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tupac. Okay. I don't know. Oh, man. he ate three. I know. Oh, got one more. He the creme de la creme. <laughs> type shit. Creme de la creme. Tupac. Pimp C. Tupac. And the last one, I would have to get a zero. Mm, okay. Zero and future. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about zero and future. Nigga, zero mode of light. He was there through some hard times. Yeah. Zero and future, bro. Time. And that yeah. nigga, he's still going hard, bro. Yeah, you know bro. To this oh, yeah. day. <clears throat> to this day. I don't know. Like, my motherfuckers is like old heads. Yeah. These is OGs in the game. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Shit. R.I.P. to Pimp C. You know what I'm saying? Chad Bull, R.I.P. to Tupac Shakur. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all made a big, major influence on my style and how I do my shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know what I'm sure. saying? As far as like, the top three, if I had to, nigga had a gun in my head. I was like, ah, Pepsi, Tupac, nigga, zero. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That shit. <laughs> for sure, for sure. That's how it'd be with me. You know what yeah, I'm talking about? for sure. And he'll be like, nigga, who else? I'd be like, uh, future. Yeah. Like, this nigga dumb as yeah. fuck. Yeah, that's real, though. All right, top yeah. three. What about you, shit. Don? That's that, man, that's a. That's one of those questions, bro, because I think about like what I grew up listening to. You know, mm-hmm. uh, and what I'm on, kind of now, and and the the influence I see the music have has you know the Im- the impact that the artist has made, you know. So yeah, it's kind of I'm gonna have a mixture, you know. Uh, okay, I want to say like I fuck with Bob Marley. Okay, like I I really fuck with him, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. I fucked with him, but before I got deep in. To his music, you know what I'm saying, like what he stood for, you know what I'm saying, uh, the type of person he was, type right. shit, you know. Uh, so I'm a guy. I gotta, I gotta get my 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 my, my one time for the Bob Marley, for sure. MC for sure. You know what yeah. I'm saying. Same reason though, you know, uh, what he stood for. You know what I'm saying. He's made his, made his music even more heartfelt. You know, yep. you know, in this industry, you know, you never know who's who. You know, so he's one of those artists I feel you know I, I resonated with you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? on the, on the, on the level. Uh, the number three. Damn. Three. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. It's it's it's, it's a toss up. The reason why I say it's a toss up is because as a as a young nigga, I couldn't I couldn't deny this man tell it. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter what, bro, I couldn't deny his talent, bro. Like. <laughs> I will always sing his songs, you know what I'm saying? Look at his videos and shit. Yeah. But this other dude, the reason why he even in this topic is just the reason why I started wanna wanted to rap. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. was uh and that was Big Mo. You know, cause one day I was listening to Big Mo and he mm. had, uh I was in sixth grade, bro. Yeah. And Lo, Lo, you remember, bro, I used to, I used to pull up and my motherfucking mama used to have my mama, old man used to have like uh some like two sixteens. In the truck, Ooh. so they see you to rumble. You know what I'm With saying? that so, big mo, man. Say, so say. I, I, so I, I used to come to school just like, say. man, turn me up one time. You know what I'm saying? So my mom used to just drop me off, and she was just base. You know what I'm saying? All the way to school, Ooh. just to turn me up. So I remember one day, man, it was big mo. They had like this little mix CD. You know what I'm saying? Big mo was on that bitch, and he had that. Uh, I was at the club one night. One night, but he ended up passing though. You know what I'm saying? Man. And I was just sitting there, remember, bro. I was in sixth grade, and I was like, "Damn, man, this nigga music gonna last forever, bro." Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 yeah, like he, 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 she gonna be there forever. I want to have an impact like that. And that's the first time I had that thought. You know what I'm saying? That was listening to a Big Mo song. And the other one is shit, Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. not him. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Man, like, 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 like. With anything, you know what I'm saying? Like he was, he was, he he was on his shit too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went through a spell. Where I ain't, I ain't like fuck with Michael because you know the allegation was coming out and shit. Yeah, I ain't up scrolling uh uh on the internet, end up scrolling on this on this interview he had. 
he was walking through this uh like this ancestral store and he was just uh talking about stuff and he ended up stop he stopped at these artifacts where they was all African artifacts. Yeah. And he was like, Oh yeah, don't touch these. He, like I, I want all these. I want this. He got to explaining what the African artifacts was. You know what I'm saying? And deep down, I don't it just resonated with my soul. I was yeah. like, Yeah, he's still one of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know, when it comes mm-hmm. to music, it be deepen with me. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like you gotta before I even like you, you know, so listen to your shit. Like you can jam and then you know, I'm like, yeah, this shit, that shit straight. But to me, to listen to you as an artist and really fuck with you, I gotta hear like you speak, and it gotta be like an interview. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You gotta capture, you yeah. know, my 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 brain, or you just gonna be another artist. You know, what I'm there's a lot of niggas I just listen to, but a couple niggas, you know, what I'm saying I I pay attention to. You know, what I'm saying I'm not a fan mm-hmm. of none of these niggas though, because you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying but, you know, they make. Them on my top three, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. All right, so um, Tony, what's your uh recording process? Can you explain this to the listeners, to your fans? Like, how did how do you how do you create? <laughs> how do I create, man? You you want to like know the journey of the creation? <clears throat> I want to know. I want to know, like, what can you tell your people? Like, do you do you sit down, like? In a in a restroom and like with a pen and pad and like write your like write your bars down, listen to the beat or like how do you how do you create? I know how you create, yeah. But the people don't know how you create, so just explain to people, you know, what I'm saying how you create. Uh, like from the process of you getting the beat, like where you get your beats from. Okay, like, I, I, you just want to know the, the process. You yeah. don't want to know the journey. Right. Yeah. So yeah, as far as the process, you know what I'm saying. Uh, really, bro, I just, I find a beat that speaks to the core of me, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you listen to my music, bro, and how my flow is, bro, I find a unique way to get on the song, bro. And flip the fuck out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and kick way too much flavor on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? So, what I do, shoot, uh... Lately, what I have noticed that I have been doing for years now, bro, like, because I don't write anything, so yeah. I don't sit on the toilet with a pen and pad. I don't do none of that shit. <laughs> Everything yeah. you hear, bro, when you hear my shit, as new as it is to you, nigga, that's how it was with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's how I made it as I went, bro. Real, It's really me, so, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Straight up. So I feel long as I'm like that with my music, bro, and I be truthful with these bars that I put together, bro. Anybody who listen to it, bro, even if they don't know me, bro, you know what I'm saying? They just feel the realness, like Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Just like that. Or That's how it's supposed to be, bro. Like yeah. But what about you? What about you, Capo? What's up with your uh your recording process, man? I'm about to say, what the fuck some question? <laughs> man, yeah. <laughs> I need to <laughs> Shit. Uh now like I I, I recently, bro, I uh, I don't write. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Low. You know what I'm saying? I I've been I've been monitoring Low for a minute, bro. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to that 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 I've been with my nigga since like I say, from 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 the phone recording days. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know, he been doing he was the first person that I knew that was doing the shit with no uh without writing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I kinda picked up on everybody else doing this shit years later. You know what I'm saying? But he was the first one I seen doing that shit. You know, so I always paid attention to this shit. I was a writer. You know, so I used to write, you know, I find my I used to be a poet, you know. Oh, yeah. And and I took like a high eighties on music for a minute. I think I took like what, a year off? I ain't took yeah. no studio. I ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I really did some spiritual work, you know, so I had told, I had called low. I said, say, nigga, the next time I go to the yo, man, I ain't doing no fucking writing, man. I'm going <laughs> to that bitch, nigga, off the tone, man. I'm going to this shit. I'm going to let the ancestors talk to me. You know what I'm saying? So now I've been going going off the, you know, going there and doing what I feel. And it's, it's, it's I feel more comfortable because when I write, when yeah. I used to write, you know, I used to write in a certain certain vibe. You know, uh, I, I might hear a beat and I'd be in a certain mood. You know what I'm saying? I might write. I feel, you know what I'm saying? And I then I go into the booth and I forget what the fuck the tempo is. So I go to the I go I go record and everything all fucked up. 
You know what I'm saying? So you go on there, you we go in the booth and you fuck up a couple of times, your 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 mojo be off. You be like, man, fuck this shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to do this shit. So, you know, you know, it writing was kind of different, you know what I'm saying? So I tried to adjust the writing. You know, I tried to uh like record. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. instead of writing, I used to record what I say so I can keep the tempo. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just took a hiatus, you know what I'm saying, and kind of do it off the tongue, doing off the dome now, you know. So yeah. it, it just feel more, I, I'm more, I'm more comfortable doing it. You know what I'm saying? So whatever comes to my, to my brain, I go ahead and say it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, whatever feeling I'm feeling at the moment or whatever thought I have, you know, it might be some, some old shit, you know, what I'm some shit I've seen, you know what I'm saying? I kind of, you know, say it in, in, in the moment, you know, so. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to go to the next question, in. bro. Like, would you rather sign a deal or stay independent, bro? What's up, Tony? Bro, we was talking about this shit. Oh. This, this, is, this, is a big, this is a big thing. I, I want to Off the rip, I'm coming. I'll, I'm coming independent off the rip. But depends on so. what the deal is. I mean, you know, shit, yeah. ain't, nothing about, ain't nothing wrong with flipping the deal. Yeah. Especially if if the the person who's coming with the negotiations and offers, you know what I'm saying? If they just on some real life shit, bro, everybody ain't on no phony fake ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? You, you you got some real life genuine people that want to see you shine yeah, and real come up. Yeah, real businessman. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying? Shit, man, ain't nothing wrong with somebody helping. You know what I'm saying? Helping you profit, bro, and they profit it off of you, but you profit it off of what they offer. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's all a helping hand, bro, and that brings yeah. in more prosperity. So, mm-hmm. uh, I look at it like uh, it depends on what the deal is. But off the rip, nigga, I'm coming independent. But if I just had to choose in between the two, I'm independent. Okay, okay, bet Topo, what's up? What you what you what you thinking, bro? Hey man, independent. Yeah, like that we independent. Yeah, you know deals. You know I own. Yeah, I, I ain't trying to get it involved. You know, I ain't trying to read that, that much. You know what I'm saying? So you know, and w- w- what what this, what I'm doing with this, you know what I'm saying is 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 is, is bigger than the deal. You you can't you can't pay me for this shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit is, yeah. You know, yeah. And it, and I think that 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 alone has changed a lot too with the more knowledge and everything that we know nowadays too. It's like hold on, like. So we understand how deals work a little more, you know what I'm saying, from people that's done had to learn that hard lesson, you know what I'm saying, of not really knowing how 360 works and all of that. Like now that we have the knowledge, you know what I'm saying, and this is the age of information too. So like you said, Tom, right before we started, you were saying that you want to learn how to, you know, record yourself, mix yourself, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's more hands-on and more do-it-yourself now that, you know what I'm saying, you really just have to focus on getting the music to your fan base, getting the music to your fans, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't necessarily need, you know what I'm saying, that that big label, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but no, you don't. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm not just going to trash our labels because not, not all labels are bad, and yeah. some labels actually do good business, and... Like you said, Tony, if a, if a label come along and they be like, all right, fam, look, we want to give you $2 million. I know for sure you're not going to turn down uh, yeah. $2 million. Man. Think about this, man. If the, if they offer you $2 million, what you really worth? Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can negotiate for sure. Yeah, man. I'm not, I don't want to negotiate. But. I don't yeah. want to negotiate. But that's why I was saying, bro, it de- you know what I'm saying? It, it depends on the on on the deal, bro. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and, deal, and then you have to get somebody to look over the contract. Like it just it just it's it, But yeah, you know, I, I see what you're saying, is, bro. bro. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, Capo. Cause it's like it's almost like, bro, like once you sign a deal, you really gotta do whatever the hell they tell you to do. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, 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 it's niggas don't be comfortable, and I be watching this shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Lord, Lord tell you, man. Like, I sit there, bro, since I've been wanting to do music, bro. I, I sit there and watch niggas' interviews, bro. I pay attention to blogs, bro. You know what I'm saying? Any question the click used to have about music, bro, they'll come to, bro. I, I researched this shit, and it's just that, 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 that signing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas regret this shit every time. Man. They regret it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I done seen it happen too many times. I don't want to be. You know what I'm saying? The nigga that regret this shit. I don't want I don't want what come what 
I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd mm-hmm. rather be independent, have total control. You know what I'm saying? Talk to the people, you know. That, that's why Pimp C was, was, was on my top three. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Underground <laughs> yeah. Kane around this bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't. It's straight up. Nigga, he stuck. Nigga, I, I don't need to sound. Yeah. You know, record label, bro, because the people who who going to hear me, they going to they gonna hear me. You know what I'm saying? And then they they going to spread the word. You know, the powers yeah. and the people. The powers ain't behind the record label. You know what I'm saying? The, nah, the powers real. with the people. All yeah. I got to do is put out the, you know what I'm saying, put out that good dope. Let's talk about the green juice real quick before we uh before oh, we end shit, it. Back shit. Oh, yeah, man. You know, uh, doing, doing my journey, you know what I'm saying, uh, my lady put me on to this endeavor. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Uh, the little, the little history behind that man, you know, uh, me and my lady, at, <clears throat> me and my lady was at uh, North Park Mall at the time. You know, she was pregnant, and uh, we had walked by this little spot, and she like, damn, I want, I want, I want some juice. You know, she wants some clean juice. I said, damn, you know what I'm saying? Well, whatever, pick the spot. So she was already introduced me to the vegan tip. You know what I'm saying? I was, uh, you know, on Dr. Sabi. You know what I'm saying? Uh, introduced to his videos and you know what i'm saying shit like that so we're gonna walk and pass this this line this line was long in a bitch fam you know what I'm saying? like this line was like a rudy's line but it was in person no cause it's people i'm like people. damn man i was like, <laughs> like damn what the fuck going on so I, I by the time it was our time we got to the front it's it's, it's two people it's one person taking the order and it's one person juicing you know, so I'm like, if we ordered like a little green juice, you know what I'm saying? I think it was like apples and lemons and celery, you know, yeah. like four, probably four ingredients. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I got the juice. I'm like, damn, this is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? She's like, yeah, we should start selling this because they ain't got the sea moss in it. I'm like, they sure don't. So we made a joke, bro. Yeah. And they laughed, bro. See, the joke that we made, she pregnant, bro. So I said, this is about a good, damn, probably about two years ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? About two years ago. So Shout out to my nigga Marley. Shout out to Marley. You know what I'm saying? So so we, we ain't never, you know what I'm saying? We, we didn't even act on it at first, bro. Yeah. So a year later, you know what I'm saying? We ended up moving and shit like that. Ended up finding her mama, ended up giving her juice and shit like that. Yeah. Said, man, we need to go ahead and do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was working. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about like that. I need to, I'm trying to get ways out the job. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You know, so we started doing, you know, hoodies and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they was going good for a nigga. I said, okay, I need, I need some more income, though. Yeah. Maybe to go ahead and let go of this job. So, you know, she was already doing her entrepreneur thing. You know, she do locks, she do crystals. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the wizard. Go follow yeah. her, Jasmine underscore the wizard. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? She was already doing this type of things. You know what I'm saying? So I was doing my meditation thing. You know what I'm saying? I was getting into just, just, just personal health, spiritual health, and things like that. Yeah. So she came up with the with the formula. You know what I'm saying? She didn't know writing it down. You know what I'm saying? She like, shit, that's what we're going to put in the green juice. You know what I'm saying? We had the sea moss in it. You know what I'm saying? We had the green apples, pineapples, mangoes. Celery, spinach, you know what I'm saying? That was the first, the first initial uh uh ingredient. I think we had uh uh something else in there too. So we got to mix in that. Yeah. You know, my first batch I made, I fucked up on. My shit was like a slushy. My shit wasn't no no juice. Yeah. I fucked up my first batch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She was mad. I fucked up the producer. <laughs> Like, nigga, the juicer broke. <laughs> nigga, I, I fucked up everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I fucked up everything. Well, she was mad. She was like, what the fuck you got going on? So I ended up getting it right. You went up buying another juicer. You know what I'm saying? Like an up-to-date juicer. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And you know, so we kind of took it from there, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got to learning that, bro. Got to, I took the ingredient out. And I added lemon and ginger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, put the uh, 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 the chlorophyll in there. You know, so really just a green juice for overall health. You know what I'm saying? Immune system. Um... High blood pressure. It helped with uh, 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 rejuvenate blood cells with the chlorophyll. It helped mm. give you your vitamins, potassium. Um, also give you 92 out of the 102 minerals your body need. You know what I'm saying? Give you mm. vitamins and minerals, not just vitamins. You know, so, yeah. you know, started off with that. And then now we got, like, three more formulas. You know what I'm saying? We got a beet, we got a beet juice. We got an elderberry juice. We got a turmeric juice. I do bee pollen and uh, burdock root. Capsule pills, you know what I'm saying, which are nat- natural diff- aphrodisiacs, you know. So I see y'all niggas using that honey and shit like that. Nah, man, we on something natural. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. We on, you know what I'm saying, it's good for the blood flow in every place. You know what I'm saying? So we fucking yeah. for a long time and fucking <laughs> good and fucking hot. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> and fucking hot. You know what I'm saying? Loving it. You know what I'm saying? Every minute of it. You know what I'm saying? Feel like I'm on an X pill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Real shit. This, this is alchemy, bro. We, we, we transforming fruit 
and juice, you know, somebody to, uh, and, 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 and to health. You know, this yeah, should make bro. your spirit feel good, make you happy. You know what I'm saying? Check my page out. You're going to see the reactions, bro. Kids love yes. this juice, bro. Yes. Like, like I don't have reports, bro. Like, I'm going to go ahead and pop my shit because niggas have to be too hungry. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Do it. 10 plus. I got 10 plus people that, 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 that got off their high blood pressure medicine. You know what I'm saying? I done introduced 30 plus people to CMOS. You know what I'm saying? I done helped 15 plus people beat COVID. You know what I'm saying? And these yeah. are facts. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This is dope. I got I got receipts, 15 text messages, plus. fifteen plus. I can't count. I, I lost count out of fifteen. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and this is what we do it for, bro. This shit makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? For people to come and say that kids, kids that kids that don't like juice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 kids that, that like like love soda. I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. You need a round of applause yeah, for that. Kids, kids that don't like saying? the kids that drink soda and shit like that. They don't like nothing healthy, bro. They drinking this juice, bro, and it's good for them. You know what I'm saying? Your kids going to Going to, if your kids is in school and they interact with people and you scared about this COVID, you know what I'm saying? Dope them up on this juice in all form. I sell elderberry. You know what I'm saying? My lady make the elderberry. I make the sea moss. Yeah. If, if you want the sea moss in a gel form, I got that. You want the elderberry in, 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 in a serve form, we got that as well. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we, 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 and it's we, good, we, too, because I had some of that. stuff for kids to drink so when they go to school and they interact with other kids that's, you know, that's that 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 that, that, that sickly or whatever the case is, you know. Somebody, your kids don't get sick. They ain't about getting no shot. You know, it's about prevention. You yeah, know what I'm saying? you got you got to build your immune system up, no matter what is out there. Mm-hmm. Build your immune system up, bro. You know, somebody, so we doing healing with music. You doing healing with juice. You know, what I'm saying what we Physical. go through. This back is spiritual. You know, spiritual. what I'm saying for anything. You know, what I'm talking about so. Hey, yeah, same yeah, yeah, nigga. Band, y'all. Go when it comes to this back, back shit, bro. Back is God, bro. God is back. Back is God's will, way, working way, nigga. That's how we treat this shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And that's what it is, bro. We ain't even talking about half the shit we could say. You know what I'm saying? I know d- 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 my nigga trying to go big, so we can't even go too deep on her. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, this type of energy, you got to feel. You know what I'm saying? So you, you get a glimpse of it in the music. You know what I'm saying? You. Mm-hmm. Feel it. You pay attention to the words and really listen to what we saying on them beats. You know what I'm saying? The beats are are nice and awesome. Shout out to Said Team. Shout out to Al B. You know what I'm Same. saying? But the Bush. lyrics that that that's that's yeah. shout out to Everybody. Bus. You know what I'm saying? The lyrics and on them beats, bro. You really pay attention to it, bro. It, it's gonna really change you. You know what I'm saying? Cause cause daily we changing and we exactly. growing. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, mentally, physically, and financially. And you know we man? checking each other, nigga. Improving. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You, you exactly. We checking each other. Like, this won't even plan. The hoodies won't even plan. You know what I'm saying? My <laughs> yeah. ancestors don't play by me. You know what I'm saying? Wizardways.com. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my ancestors. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my granny. They in here with us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, got you some that's flowers. Why we got the I hope liquor. you liking it. That's you know? why we got the liquor. You know what I'm saying? got you some sunflowers. But yeah, man, you know, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's nothing but spiritual. Yeah, baby. Show, man. Show, man. Definitely feel all that. You know what I'm saying? We had to tap you up. You know what I'm saying? You tried to cut a show, so we had to go there and run that shit up a little bit more so motherfuckers can really feel it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we had to make sure we talked about the juice. This is the first interview. And nigga, we got to set the motherfucking tone. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Yeah, let me properly introduce the next song. You know what I'm talking about, man? Shout out to Al B, man. He always come through, man, bringing that shit to life, man. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Man, and he also turned me on how to make it do what it do, so I can bring it back to you. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, man. That that I did that, man. He brought that bitch back to life, man. So now, nigga, you know what I'm saying? We adding on to this flavor, baby. So yeah, when we nigga, we got this motherfucking formula, nigga, that we serving y'all, nigga. So y'all mm. better eat it up, bro. Yes, it's sir. out there to get. It's edible. Yeah, you know I'm saying get full till you can't no more. You know what I'm talking about for real. <laughs> but back to the motherfucking next single that we dropping now. You know what I'm saying it's on its way, man. It's uh Loso. I mean, damn, my name ain't even Loso. Uh, Tony Loso. <laughs> that's the liquor. That's this liquor, bro. Liquor. I told you, man. That's the liquor. I said Loso. You know this interview with my shit was. Bro. This ain't my name. This, this ain't liquor. my name. I ain't hey, Loso no more. <laughs> hey, man. You know what I'm saying, man. It's Don Capo <laughs> and Tony Loso, man. Uh. Don't fold up. Don't fold, nigga. Don't fold. Don't fold. Don't fold. Don't fold. It only took a year. What they gon' do until I don't do no hate, I did it to the fool. Just be on the same word by name. Mama think I'm crazy. One day she saw me burning up paper, next day, new car swing. 
You that? I'ma need some Benny Franklin. Tell me what you thinking. Money on my mind frame and my cushion thinking like a drum on blood. I'm banging. Flip my boys out with flavor. And you know this major plus I'm getting to that paper. My boy, I'm a player from the Himalayas. Don't fold up, this will turn out to be a hate. You can't approve. Ten toes down, got a lace of shoes. Tried to chain me up, but I broke some rules. You may be a worker, but I made the rules. Play a little slow, never been a fool. Good with the hand, he still keep a two. In tune with the mind, I don't watch the news. Nigga acting like you know me, I don't know the dude. Who the fuck is you? Had a, had a couple strongs, now my mind getting vivid. Told them back then, but they ain't wanna listen. Know it was gonna be something, they thought I was tripping. Now they in my business, asking why I keep my distance. Don't need the phone in love when I touch a couple men. Don't need the phone in hug when I go past the ceiling. The calm down and go ahead and chill on the spin. Cause you know how it is when a nigga out here getting it. You know how it is when a nigga out here tripping. Sit back, watch the shit from a distance. You're doing all the talking, better listen. I've been reading songs when I finish palm itch. Feeling like a dog, all these bees and the gold dripping. I ain't trying to kill, I'm trying to heal, nigga. If you push a button, then I will, nigga. First thing first, I'm a real nigga. Hey, I'ma ask a few questions why a nigga do it. Check, I'm a juice guy, pippin' in my flu.